what's up guys all right so this is the part two to my glass cannon build also so many people have been coming at me for the build being no attunement bro just hear me out okay no attunement i wanted to go a lot of strength and also a lot of willpower because first of all strength ignores armor this is why i'm doing so much damage okay i'm doing so much damage and i'm ignoring so much armor it's to the point where it doesn't even matter if they have armor or not it really doesn't it does not make a difference if they have armor but like their ether region or whatever like the damage reduction it does not matter when you're fighting me trust me also with this build i'm gonna just say this part two is literally its base form once i start using stuff like lose your mind in actual fights bro like i'm gonna be honest this build might get nerfed because it does not sit well with people when they get dropped in like under like 30 seconds that's not a good feeling okay so i'm not sure if the build is going to get nerfed but so far it is a pretty fun build you're going to be knocking people extremely fast okay and once you actually peer talents such as a uh, million ton piercer lose your mind piercing will these talents that give you armor pin and also more damage like lose your mind bro it's a whole different build bro like right now part two i'm literally in my base form and i'm knocking people like like bro it's so much oh my god y'all gotta see the part three bro like you're gonna see how much damage i actually do i'm gonna showcase the damage i'm gonna talk about the talents why i do so much damage all that good stuff so yeah part three is gonna be like the full build right now like it's just <laughs> it's just high damage but once i actually peer that up with lose your mind and piercing will and all these other talents it's it's insane bro i'm gonna just say that all right let's get into the video pick me to like the enchant place so let's see what we get honestly i've been fighting a few people in china with enchants lately so why not also we're gonna try to get heroism so let's see bruh yeah, I gotta reroll. Deferred? I don't even know if it works with Ishin's Ring, honestly, because this has been like a really. Like, Deferred has had so many problems in the past. Okay, so me and my friend tested it. Deferred does not work with Ishin's Ring, so I'm gonna just reroll this. Uh, nah. I also gotta reroll that too. Yeah, I really want heroism or like grim or even young show. Honestly, that's what we're aiming for. Oh my god. <sighs> honestly, since we got gluttony, I'm gonna just kill a Kaido real quick. So, yeah, let's go do that. Okay, that was a pretty fast Kaido. Okay, look, bro, underdog is so good right now for this type of build because like what people go nowadays is like 500 plus HP builds. All they focus on is HP. So, bro, this talent right here is insanely good yeah i have to take that all right so we're gonna even do more damage to people like like i'm gonna just drop tanks like they're nothing at this point like honestly
bro. Okay, this game just wants me to go broke. Actually, I'm gonna just keep it for now, bro. Okay, so my friend gave me this stuff for Black Diver. And I'm gonna just say this, in the future videos, I'm gonna do, like, progression videos with no help. Like, yeah, with no help at all. But yeah, like, <laughs> bro, my friend is just hooking me up with everything right now. Bro, it's like so many things I need from that hand, too. I'm gonna just take Bulldozer, I think, because it is a rare. Bro, this is so hard. I need all the, like, I literally need all of those talents. <sighs> I don't even know. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just take Bulldozer. It's a rare, so, like, those cards are gonna come back to me anyways. All right, guys. So this is my first match. So I might do kind of bad, but we'll see. Bro, I don't know. Something is up with the server. The server is... It, or it's like my game. It feels a bit choppy, but... This dude isn't bad. I'm doing absolutely terrible, though. Like, this is my first match. Oh my god. Alright, GG's, bro. Oh. Thanks. Alright. Yeah, that dude did a ton of damage. Uh, Ishin's ring, bro. I'm telling you, like, this build, you have to be extremely careful, bro. Alright, guys. I just sold a ton of stuff. So, we leveled up our mantras. So, our strength mantras are level 5. So, oh, this guy wants to go depths. Bro, why is he fighting? Yo, why is he fighting if he's trying to... Okay. Stop. Bro. <laughs> But, like, yeah, it's just so many weirdos. Like, I get it. I do a lot of damage. But I, I hit the dude once, and then he starts running. Like, he starts running the entire time. Oh, this dude has no animations. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, okay, GG's. Now that we leveled up our mantras, we're like we're killing people a lot faster now. So yeah. I don't know, like I'm low-key worried because I cannot parry uh curved sometimes. Like fight me fighting Gel people, I just I don't know. Bro, this build is broken. I'm telling you, like, I'm trying to speedrun every fight, bro. 
like no fight has lasted more than a minute when it comes to fighting me like there's only one dude that's been recently but like he was he was pretty decent at parrying but like oh these fights are i'm dropping people Also, my Wailing Knife isn't even alloyed, by the way. So, like, it's not upgraded. These guys are using in-game weapons. I still haven't upgraded my uh, Wailing Knife. So, yeah. Once I do upgrade it, the damage is even going to be better. Alright, GG's. What do you say? <laughs> I know, bro. The build is broken. I'm telling you guys. Like, when you guys actually see how much damage it does, like, you're going to be surprised. I kind of feel bad because I'm fighting this dude and he has rags, but, like, it's a pen build. So his armor wouldn't have mattered anyways, honestly. Unless for like his ether region, but like armor does not matter when you're fighting me. Oh, wait. I think, yeah, this dude is low-key as sweat. This is the first, like, first kind of good person I fought today. Bro, like the damage I'm taking from missions right now, I'm gonna just mantra faint since he is like decent. Yeah, he's trying to catch me off guard. All right, bro, GG's. That dude is actually GG's, bro. That dude's actually nice. All right, guys, so we did a lot of 1v1s. I'm going to just see if I can actually get my bell. So, yeah, I haven't done, like, a single Duke or, like, boss except Kaido. So, I might not have it, but I'm going to just check real quick. So, yeah. Bro, like, the amount of damage I take is insane. Oh, bro. Okay. Alright. I just gotta do Dukes and we'll be good. So. Bro. I'm literally one tap, bro. I don't want someone coming up and then taking my body or like trying to reap from me or some shit. So. All right, guys, so right now we're just going to uncap willpower, and yeah, because there's a talent called Piercing Will, which basically makes it so if you're insane, you get, like, way more pins, so, like, I'm just ignoring all armor at this point, so, like, with all the talents combined. Okay, Kira's here, sweet. Is it? Okay, it's working. Actually, let's see how fast it takes me to kill a jellyfish. Yeah, no, bro. This, the, oh my god, bro. The damage on this build. I could low-key make a PvE build with Ishin's ring. Now that I'm thinking about it. All right. Now we have to go to Castle Light and I'm gonna just uncap low power. Oh, 
Oh, we got a legendary. Random legendary talent. I'm trying to think. Okay, that's uh that has to be million ton piercer. Right? Alright, bet. So basically my pen can't be capped. So if I wanted to get like 80% 80, 80 pen, then I can use that. The cap for pen right now for everyone is 50%, I believe. So now I don't have a cap and we can just ignore like everyone's armor. All right, sweet. All right, so these guys wanna be in the video. They're pretty chill people. But then again, it's like insanely good. So I might make a PVE build where I use Ishin's ring and like heroism. Because the damage I do to mobs is insane. I don't even have monsters. Bro, it's it's dead. I don't even have monster slayer stuff on. And I'm not max level either. And I'm killing them so fast. Oh, and we just leveled. Girl, can I? Okay. Uh... Honestly, a lot of people block against me, so yeah, I might have to take that. Oh, wait, hold up. Hold up, bro. Bro, if, if he has ice traps, I swear. Yup. <gasps> what? What? Is that what I do to people? What? Okay, bro. What did I just promote? That's like basically my old build. Damn, GG's, GG's, bro. GG's. Yo, what's up, guys? All right, so this is the chime score for this build. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest. The first loss we got was a disconnect. I put that in part one. Also, I only lost legitly to one person. All the other times I lost were to people with no animation. And a lot of people have been telling me there's an exploit in like a bug where people just break their animations. I'm pretty sure this is true because first of all, like why aren't you fixing your animations in Chime? So like I told them multiple times to fix their animations. They did not fix their animations. And like I suck when it comes to fighting with people with no animations. Also, another dude did legitly beat us. It was in the Oregon server. I cannot parry an organ. But besides that, the dude's, you know, pretty decent. GG's to him. I'm going to put his name uh in a video the dude who did legitly beat me and uh yeah part three is coming out i'm gonna just say this bro like right now my weapon isn't even upgraded and i'm not even like using lose your mind and other talents that give me so much damage and so much pen so like part three i'm gonna actually show you how much damage the build does the whole showcase all that so yeah all right guys so if you did enjoy this video like the video sub and see you guys